From well-to-do guys like Nicola Bulgari, who collects vintage Buicks, to Jay Leno, who collects just about anything with four wheels, to the girl next door who's dreamed of owning a Camaro since the 70s. To these people, cars are more than just an appliance that gets them to work and the grocery store. They are history, art, and adventure all rolled together. A lot of people have different definitions as to what's really collectible, but generally it's a, a matrix of performance, rarity, uh, style, Usually cars that were popular when they were new tend to hold up very well today. Matt Stone is a car collector who writes about collecting for Motor Trend magazine. There are certain things a manufacturer can do that will make a car more collectible. Uh, for example, having a serial number, a numbered limited edition, or only building so many, or building uh, certain special models that have higher performance. Than the normal model. With a dedicated museum and readily available factory tours, Corvettes have been a collectible icon for over 50 years. And this year, two-time Indy 500 winner Emerson Fittipaldi will pace the Memorial Day race in a 190-plus mile-per-hour Corvette Z06. It would be great to drive the Indy car there, the, the pace car. Um, I was very surprised the way they finished the cars here at the Corvette factory. The cars are immaculate. I'm sure the collector is going to love the car. Fittipaldi stopped by the Bowling Green Kentucky Corvette plant prior to the race to shake a few hands and sign 500 special edition pace car replicas that will no doubt be bought by automobile and racing enthusiasts. I'm Chris Hansen.